So can this kind of image damage be repaired? Joining us now from our Los Angeles bureau, Simon Stair, PR guru and media advisor to the celebrity. Simon, thank you very much for being with us. If you were representing uh, Mel Gibson, would your head be in your hands right now, shaking away, going, what on earth have you done? Or would you say at this point, you know what? We can fix it. It's all fixable. Um, I think the first thing I would say is, Mel, it's time that you got well. I mean, he's in, he, he's in trouble. He's seriously... He obviously has a problem with alcohol, and um, he's got other problems as well. And I think fundamentally when you're, you find yourself in this situation, you have to look within, and um, that's what Mel Gibson has to do. In terms of his reputation, though, in, the, in a place like Hollywood where scandals, you know, they pop up every once in a while. I, mean, not, I shouldn't say every once in a while, almost every other week. Is there a sense that, that his reputation is, um, is not as tarnished as one would think, that he could come out of this and, and still be okay? Well, in the business, uh, Mel Gibson, you know, he can make whatever he likes. He's made a fortune and he can dictate. So he's not really asking other people to make movies for him anymore. Um, and I was at the baseball yesterday and the, uh, a picture of Mel Gibson appeared on the large screen and there's 50,000 people there and it was on the large screen for 10, 15 seconds, long enough for a reaction from the crowd and there was no reaction from the crowd. So that told That's the story. That's pretty amazing. Itself. Yeah, but really, I mean, I was yeah. expecting people to boo or do something. They didn't. They simply didn't. And also keeping silent, there are lots of Hollywood bigwigs, you know, studio owners, uh, producers, Spielberg, uh, Jeffrey Katzenberg, Ron Meyer, Brad Gray. These are all big, big names in Hollywood when it comes to those who actually make the decisions. And they haven't said a word at all. Is that surprising to you as well? Um, I don't think it's particularly surprising, no. I mean, what he said, or what he's reportedly said, was anti-Semitic. And um, obviously what he said was unpleasant. But um, I think, really, uh, I repeat, I think it's time for Mel Gibson to look within himself. I mean, there's a big thing in America that he should go and meet a rabbi on the Day of Atonement and be seen, pictured, shaking a hand of a rabbi. I don't think the public enjoy that anymore. But uh, if the public saw him really look within himself and say to himself, it's time that I got well and I recognize that I'm seriously um, not in a good place in my life, uh, they might appreciate that because people like vulnerability in life. Does the fact that he has, well, okay, there are two things here. He's done this before when it comes to um, uh, upsetting another minority group when it comes to the gay community, and he's also appealed to them for, to help him in his recovery. So he's done this again. But the fact that he is a big time uh, star, uh, a, a director, a producer, and that he is up on that higher level, that he can somehow ride this wave and not be as affected as someone who is probably not as, as powerful as he is. Well, business-wise, I don't think it's going to affect him. He's got a movie coming out at Christmas. I'm sure it's going to do very well. A few people might say, I don't want to go and see it because of what he reportedly said. But generally, you watch. It will be a successful film. Um, as I say, that's one aspect. So business-wise, he will not be affected by this. But um, within himself, and not part of this media game, how to deal with it, how to get well. He has to start that journey. And that journey, if it's seen by the public that he's taking, he will, his reputation will remain intact. All right, Simon Astaire, we thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Up next on CNN Today, we'll take a look at...